Uh, welcome back to another video. We're going to be opening up none other than this beautiful and amazing Charizard box. There's the beautiful statue you get, as well as the promo card, or should I say Charizard EX. Not sure exactly why they didn't do a full art. That's all right, still beautiful looking card, as well as the amazing statue. And we'll turn it over. And then you'll be able to see all the goodies you get on this pack, including the Charmander cart. Lots of packs in this one. There's the back that tells you what you get. And the other side with Charmeleon and some more crazy packs, all right, including the newest pack out, uh, Stellar Crown. So without further ado, this one's definitely going to be hard because it's a big box, I'm not going to lie. And for a dose of you guys wondering, they're going for about $80. One says $79.98.99 at the Pokemon Center site. I ended finding it at a third party seller for only $60. So for $60, I think this was an amazing deal. So without further ado, let's go ahead and rip right into this thing and see. What we get out of it, see what kind of packs we get, and look at the beautiful statue that it comes with. All right, all right, as you guys can see, my camera is pretty high up and it's still up on that thing. That's why I did a full view, that way, you guys were able to see the box. I'll go ahead and look at the other side for some reason. You know, shipping services, what can I say? They are not the best. Little damage there. A line going all the way across the Charizard, which I'll tell you what, we're going to rip into this, so I'm not too worried about that. But if you're somebody collecting these and want to keep it sealed, this would be devastating for someone like that. The other side's good, I'm not going to lie. That side's straight. But the first side that I showed you guys, right there, man, that's all I gotta say. All right, and here is the back of it. We are gonna tell you what it comes with. It comes with one foil promo card of Charizard EX. I was calling it a promo card, but I wasn't 100% sure. Two foil cards from Charmander and Charmeleon. One card display figure featuring Charizard. To be honest, I didn't know he held the card. But it's cool that he does. All right. And you better have a Charizard for him to hold. All right. Don't be putting the squirtle. Well, I'm just playing. Put it wherever you want. You get 10 TCG packs. That's what I'm talking about. And a code card for Pokemon TCG Online. They're not giving you guys any of the promo cards or nothing like that. I wonder if the new the pocket game they have coming out. I wonder if they're going to start implementing code cards on that one. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about that. I'm not going to lie. Man, this is on there pretty, pretty good. Charge art is definitely secured. All right. I'm not going to lie to you guys about this new Pokemon pocket app that they're coming out with. I mean, I, I wish it would have just perfected the Pokemon TCG live game, or at least rolled it out and maybe carried it over, but I don't know. You know, they do what they can. They see something's not working. I mean, they're trying something else, so let me know what you guys think. I'm going to go ahead and Pull this stuff out. There's a box in here that's just taking up room. I guess maybe to give it that square dimension that they wanted. Let's get that figure out. I'm not gonna lie. Only reason I bought this is for the figure. Do not tell me in the comments below. Did you buy this thing and it wasn't because of the figure? Because that's the only reason I'm buying it for. I'm being 100% with you guys. Only reason I purchased this thing is for the figure. The cards, the packs, they're just a bonus. I mean, you see the hat, man. You know what I mean? 
All right, we're going to get the two sides out. And that's it for that box. Throw that box over there, you know what I mean? All right. So, I'm not going to lie, 10 packs is pretty good. Let's go ahead and get this beautiful thing out. And the promo card, of course. That promo card looks amazing. All right, so that Charizard EX is a Black Star promo. So, Black Star promo EX. Not bad, but nothing against them. But they're going to go out with a full statue. Could have given them a full art. You know what I'm saying? I mean, all right, we will take a quick little look. At the statue, I don't, I don't want this video to be crazy long, and I mean, they don't even show you guys where the card's supposed to, where this card's supposed to go. We'll try to figure this out. All right, so you can't put a penny sleeve on there. Pretty sure that's where the card goes. Let me see. There it goes. All right. So that's where the card would go. Whatever card you guys choose. I mean, there are pros and cons. Pro is Charizard statue, and the fire is fire as well. You know what I mean? The con is the only thing I would have did to improve this, not just. That I wish it would fit with a penny sleeve. Maybe if you have a tight fit penny sleeve. But I wish they would have did something like. I'll get it over here real quick. I wish they would have did something to where whatever card you got in here. Which I'm not going to show you guys what card I got in there. If you guys want to see what card I got in there. Stay tuned for a future video. But. I mean, I, I get it. They're two different products, but they're both from Scarlet and Violet. It would be nice, which, you know, I'm sure they overprinted the crap out of these things right here. It would be nice if that was able to fit in there, or if they would have made something very, very similar to that to fit in there. That way, whatever card you want Charizard to be protected, is protected. You know what I mean, I'm just messing with you guys. That is not what you guys thought it was. That's what I'm saying. All right, so you have the Charizard, which the fire and the statue looks amazing. I'm not gonna lie. That's that's beautiful. I mean, to be honest, Pokemon, Pokemon Center could have put this out just by itself. And it would have still sold for $60. I don't know, because I've, I've seen some of the figures they sell. Put that guy right there. I've seen some of the figures they sell, and they're up there. All right. There's the Charizard promo. We'll go ahead and get into the cars that it comes with as well. Let's see if we'll get the Charmander out of there. And it looks like the Charmander is going to have the code card for you guys. He's, uh, he's protecting the code card for you guys. There you guys go. And it's for TCG Live. Not for the new set. I think the new set is going to be strictly... You can buy something, you can get some daily, or you can basically buy some. All right, we are in that millennium that digital is key. They know people like physical stuff still, so they're never gonna. I'm not saying they're gonna stop selling physical cards, that'd be crazy. But I'm going to tell you right now that it's going to be like Fortnite 
You know what I mean? You want a special card, they're gonna want you to pay for it, or more packs to open up, you're gonna have to pay for it. That's that's just how a lot of things are going. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? But we will look at the other promo cards that it came with or regular cards that it came with. You got the Charm Manor looking amazing. I want to say it is not, not the same as the 151 one. All right. It is not the same as the 151 promo card. Is it the same as, this is going to be a tricky one. Is it the same as the GameStop card? All right, so it looks exactly like the GameStop promo card. All right, but it's not the GameStop. So I knew that looked familiar. I, for, I'm, I forget if it's 151 or, to be honest, those City and Flame. Because they were both heavy into Charizard packs. I want to say. 151 and don't be putting this on the chat all right it says it says me on the bottom so <laughs> i could have just looked there but don't judge i plan all right so those are from pokemon 151 i know i knew they were familiar but 151 is a hard set to get so Excuse me for not remembering, just saying. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and look at what packs we got. We got Stellar, we got Twilight Masquerade, Paradox Rift, the City of Flames. I wanna say the order goes like that, but don't quote me on that. Paradox Rift, all right, so we got two packs of each. We got two packs of Stellar Crown, two packs of Twilight Masquerade, Two pack of temporal forces. Uh, two packs of obsidian flames. And I might be wrong. I hope I ain't wrong. You know what? I am wrong. I'm gonna switch these up real quick. Paradox Rick came out after Pokemon 151 and Obsidian Flames. Pretty sure that's the order. Give this video a thumbs up if I'm right. So Obsidian Flames came out before them, and then Paradox Rift came out after 151, Temporal Forces, Twilight Masquerade, and the newest set out, Stella Crown. All right, so we got 10 packs. Let's go ahead and see what we can get, and uh, that'd be that. Let me know if this was worth it for $60. Also, let me know if it was worth it for, for $80. I want to know what you guys think. Definitely love hearing you guys' input and you guys' thoughts. All right, first pack, Obsidian Flames. Let's go. A lot of people don't like Obsidian Flames, but I do. So I'm cool with that. All right. Hopefully you guys are cool with that too. We got Fungus. Nose Pass, because we don't pass on that nose. Wait, wait. Let's see if we can get something out of this pack of Obsidian Flames. We got the awesome Vault Picks. We got the Teeny, and we got Rara Room. EX, first pack, first hit. Let's do it, all right? Charizard hold, hold, holding this fort down. And if you guys see my previous video where I ordered Pokemon Center maps, you're probably wondering why well, I didn't put my Pokemon Center uh, Charizard mat down? Because it's October. We are a big fan of Halloween. And, you know, I stuck to my guns on keeping my mat, this mat, on here until Halloween. Then I'm going to switch it out. All right. Next pack of the City of Flames. Pack number two. Two out of ten. Let's go. At first. First pack was was magical. So let's move on to that second pack. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's go. We got that energy card to get out of the way. So our blue, we got Oddish, Dratini, I ain't gonna lie, Fire, 
Charmander joining the party. Nine tails. We got the poltergeist. I don't care what y'all say. It's poltergeist, all right? They're here, all right? All right. And let's see. We got the hound door. I'll take that hound door. And what will be our last card? And we got the trainer to finish that pack up with. <laughs> and I'm cool with that. So let's move on to two packs of Paradox Rift. Let's go. All right. Now let me know. You know what? I keep forgetting. Somebody, somebody said my pack opening skill be rough. I told them, you know, I'll try to start cutting it. I'm telling you right now, if I cut a hit card, if I cut a card and there's a crazy hit, I'm never cutting the pack open again. Just saying. All right. And we are off to Paradox Riff. Man, I forgot to lower that trash away. Yeah, I can see that. All right. Let's go. And Paradox Riff. Another set. I ain't gonna lie, the hits of Scarlet and Violet. I think I think they're just as hard as Evolving Skies, if not harder. Alright, let's see. I wasn't playing with y'all. Them hits are crazy. Crazy hard to pull. Alright. Next pack of Paradox Rift. We are going straight through these packs. And, you know, I, I know you yeah, have a comment, but I didn't cut that one, but that is a VR. That head is a hard break, I mean. All right, let's go. Second pack of Paradox Rift. We got Wiglet doing a rainbow type. Thing, play Coco. Now let's see if we can get something out of Paradox Rift. Definitely been, been a while since I've opened up some Paradox Rift. Screaming Tail. Play Coco Reverse, which I'll definitely take. I like Play Coco. And it rem I'm not gonna lie, it reminds me of when Charizard's tail was about to burn out because there's, there's, there's that grass over it. And we got another EX. Two hits. I'll take it. All right, Charizard, you bringing in these hits. Keep, keep bringing in these hits. All right. At the end of the video, definitely let me know what pool you guys thought was the best. And on next, we're moving on to Temple Forces. Let's go with Temporal Forces. And I have to remember, let's turn around. Because when, oh, you know what? That was in Scarlet and Violet. I mean, Sword and Shield. I cut a couple packs open like that, and I'm not gonna lie. Seeing the cold card color kind of ruined it for me. But let's go ahead and see what we can get out of Temporal Forces. Meryl, looking awesome. Palafin. And what will we have to finish that pack off with? Box order. And there we go. To finish that pack off with. And we still got we still got one more chance at Temporal Forces, all right? And let's go see what we can get. And as always, there's a cold card for you guys. Let's get that out of there. Let's go. Second pack of Temporal Forces. Can we get something out of Temporal Forces? We got Gassy, Finizen, Sharpedo. Metal Gloss. And what will be? Oh. We got a Deerling. 
We got that Deerling. I'm not gonna lie. I already pulled this card, but it is such a beautiful card. So I will take a second one. You know, I only got 20 of them. Only got a second one. So I will gladly take. I haven't completed it. Don't got the other side. But that side is pretty cool. Adorable. Artwork, fantastic. One day I will get the opposite side. But darling, or dearling, man, dearling, is a wonderful pull. Next we got Twilight Masquerade. A set. I'm definitely surprised they put it in here. This set is becoming harder and harder to find. And man, if I ever cut that Greninja card, I'll still take it. And no, it is not because of the value. I truly love Greninja. He is one of my favorite Pokemon. So let's go ahead and see what we can get out of these two. Twilight Masquerade. Come on, Twilight. Treat me like my name is Belle. You know what I mean? Give me that Twilight uh, Belle and Edwin Power. All right, let's go. We're going to start this all with the energy card. Let's see what we can get from Twilight Masquerade. Twilight Masquerade is going to come with that fire. We'll see. We are almost there. Will we get something from and Twilight Masquerade Strikes Again? No, God, please, no, no! Alright, I'm cool with that. Beautiful, beautiful card. Every chance I get to open up a card pack. Beautiful day. Alright. Next pack. Twilight Power. Alright. Jacob is not going to stop us. Alright, let's get it. See what we can get there. That last card did not look fantastic. But, Polyworld, Tangela, let's see what that second to last card is. We got Prosperity, Sunflora, Enchanted Hammer. Put that hammer down. And, here we go. Sand Slash. And Alakazam. What? What the fuck? Alakazam to finish that one off with. All right. Now we are moving to the last two packs of this video. From the newest pack so far. Or the newest set, I should say. Stella Crown. All right. Don't need the scissors no more. Let's go ahead and. See what we can get out of this one. Let's go. All right. So we are gonna flip those over, get that energy card out of the way. That's how we gotta do things here. And let's get let's get right to the pack. We got Melton, Charlie Galali Cake. And what can we get out of these last two picks out of this video? Double. We got Mewtwo. I wish they had a full art Mewtwo in this set. I mean, but it's alright. And we got a full art, which I will gladly take. Wow, fantastic. Our second full art of the day. Or is it a third? Third full art. Second, fourth, third, and then we got a secret rare, so there we go. Last pack. What can we get out of this last pack? Let's open it and find out. I will tell you what. That is centering of that one. Centering of that one is not it's not doing it for me. Quality control in America. We gotta step up our game. You know what I mean? All right, last pack. Let's see what we can get on this last pack. Let's go ahead and find out. Let's go. 
Vou dar para o Mira. Aqui vão. A Barry. And the audience gets quiet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's go. <sighs> Let's go. Let's. Oh. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you all for giving me the opportunity to open this up. Because I know this ain't the best car out of the set, but I freaking love this car. <sighs> I already know what it is. Y'all, if y'all see that, y'all know what it is. The Bulbasaur. Nice. Man. <sighs> Talk about freaking last pack magic. I'm glad I bought this this box and not only that Charizard is fire, but man I wanted that card so bad. This is one out of two cards that I wanted from that set. That card is I don't even know which card I like more, the Squirtle or the Bulbasaur. That is beautiful. I want to say I like them both the same. Since I'm, I hope I get the other one. But that Bulbasaur, don't, I'm not going to lie. This card, the Squirtle, are the only cards I want from Stellar Crown. Twilight Masquerade, unfortunately, Greninja is crazy, 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 crazy price. Uh, card I want besides that one it has nothing to do with money value because I have plenty of Greninja cards is the Eevee card so those are my top cards that I like from the last three packs sets that came out that card right there fire let me know which one of these is your favorite and let me know if this was worth it. See you guys on the next one. Let me know if you guys are even considering picking this thing up. All right. See you guys on the next one. Thank you.